Hello, hello everyone. This is Kikai ng Bicol. Welcome to my blog. Today's video, I will share with you about the situation in the Philippines here up to here in Dubai. So guys, alam naman natin na ang mga estudyante natin sa Pilipinas ay nag-aaral through modules. So, modules and online classes are very different. Online classes, they have face-to-face -face through online while the student and teacher are learning from each other. So, module, we can say, this is happening in the Philippines. The teacher will distribute the modules, modules in the student and the student will study by themselves the modules. So, this is the situation. My daughter asked me and sent me a message about math. I want to cry about that. Because she asked me, Mama, what is about this? We didn't even saw this equation. And I saw the, the method is about quadratic and non-quadratic equation. How you will do, how you will make standard form and say if it is quadratic and non quadratic in mathematics subjects. And this is very sad that we parents are very far from our daughter or son. We cannot guide them personally. So what I did I tried to contact them through Messenger and help them in whatever their subjects. And the sad thing is I don't know anything about it because I forget everything. It's almost 25 years back, guys. I cannot remember anything. So I asked my friends, some of friends, to help me solve that matter. So, but suddenly, sad to say, nobody knows about it. And I remember one of my group chat member shout out to sayo paolo ramirez she he helped me to solve that because in this time he is still fresh his mind is still fresh still studying and one thing i did i asked my teacher what is the explanation about that and he sent me the explanation of the whole video in my teacher in the school to help to solve that problem and hope you guys watch it thank you so much please watch my so guys uh hope you i can help you in this matter about this math and i want to share you with you also when my teacher sent me about that i hope i can help you and your student too Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for my videos uploaded. You are updated. Mali mali na yung English ko guys. Sorry sa aking English. So ayon. Thank you for watching and. Thank you for supporting Kikai Nan Bicol always and watching my videos. Thank you so much guys. God bless you all and see you in our waiting channel. So take care everyone and hope you all guys are fine in your place. Babush. We talk on the phone every night. We have been given is quadratic. Okay? Tell whether the given is a quadratic equation or not. Make so how do you know an equation is a quadratic equation? You must see the x squared. Or you must solve and if you solve, if you don't see the x squared, then it is not. Okay? So the equation must look like this ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero then sometimes it can be written like this because b is missing 
If B is missing, it's because B can be zero. If B is zero, then there's no point of view writing. So there will be just the x squared with the number and then it's equals to zero. Or sometimes C can be missing. If C is missing, it's because C is zero, like that. So the equation can be in these three forms. All, even these two forms are still AX. These two forms are still AX squared plus BX plus C. Just because you don't see BX does not mean it is not there. It is not there because it is zero. Here, just because you don't see, if you don't see C, it doesn't mean it is not there. It is there, it's just that it is zero, okay? So, for you to be quadratic, AX squared must always be there. It must always be there. That's what I wrote here. AX squared must always be there for the equation to be quadratic. All right, so let's do number one. <coughs> I already see AX squared, it is there. So all I need to do is bring this on this side. So I draw my bridge. And then I will subtract 2x on both sides. So then this becomes x squared minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Because this is 0. And there is my equation in quadratic format. So the answer was tell whether the given quadratic equation is or not so you will say yes you will say yes it is a quadratic equation yes it is or just yes and then they will say write it then this is what you will write and this is your evidence if they ask you to justify you did your work okay all right so let us do number two the same thing Oh, it's already equals to zero so yes this is my equation so yes this is a quadratic equation and then you will write 4x squared minus 0x plus 5 and there is your equation is equal to zero sorry is equal to zero and there is your answer okay why did I write 0x? Because it's not there, so I wrote it over here. Now, what about this? This is not. Why? I will not get x squared. So this becomes 5x. 3x plus 2x becomes 5x minus 5 is equal to 8x plus 4. I will subtract 8x. You see? There is no x squared. So that's why. So this is a no. So this is negative 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. I will subtract 4 on both sides. I will get this becomes 0. This becomes negative 9. That becomes negative 3x. So this is this is um, negative 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. So this is not because there's no x squared. So no, this is no. Okay? The same thing here. If this was multiplied, then yes. But because you're adding, it is not. So this becomes 3x plus 5x and then negative 4 plus 6 is equals to 9. That becomes what? 8x this becomes plus 2 is equal to 9. Then I draw my bridge. This becomes negative 9. Negative 9. That becomes 0. That becomes negative 7. 8x. So 8x minus negative 7. This is a no because there is no x squared. No because there is no x squared. Remember we say ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero it is missing the x squared so this is no okay no even this one was done okay all right question five question five is a yes all i have to do is bring this on this side minus four minus four this becomes zero and this becomes zero. 
okay then I bring down negative 3x and I bring down 5x squared so then plus okay so you can you can write it like this but this is not the best way to write it you just write 5x squared minus 3x is equal to 0 and this is a yes so there that is the quadratic equation and this is the yes part Don't stress your mind We